the Ballina Municipal District covers a region of 25,000 people and is situated on the northwest coast of Mayo. It is an area steeped in history, culture and community, with a rich tapestry of volunteers at the heart of the district. People come together to, to organise a festival, to come together to help out with, with, with the local sports teams. And people pull together and work together for the, for the benefit of their area, but they also, for their, they're proud of their areas. And they want to make sure that they have the best festival, that they have the best football team, that they have the best active age group. And that's great to see that metal approach, as we call it. In Mayo, and in North Mayo especially, we have the metal. And metal really means help your neighbour. And that's what this is all about as a volunteer. And Mayo County Council and Belna Municipal Area are really delighted to be involved in that. Whether it's to set up volunteer groups or whether it's to be involved in, in communities by funding different projects. We as a council, I know, are very keen to make sure that's helped. We have in Mayo the Public Participation Network, which basically is an umbrella organisation for all the community volunteer groups in the whole county. So obviously it's funded and supported by the local authority, but it's very much an independent voice for the community voluntary sector, and that's very important. At the moment we have over 1,100 committees representing 16,000 volunteers in the Mayo area. Social inclusion is what we're all about, bearing in mind that every single person on these committees are volunteers. We are the second biggest county in the percentage of people that volunteer according to the census figures which is a great achievement. Ballinara has got, it's very multicultural and we have a really wide diversity of volunteers as well. There's a huge ethos of wanting to volunteer and help out in local communities. We have a very large number of Ukrainians and uh, international protection applicants um, living in and around the Ballinara area. And we have a specific person on our team, we have a community engagement officer whose role it is to engage with those guys, find out who they are, what their skills are, and, and try and get them into volunteering so they can integrate and learn about the community they're now living in. In 2023, to celebrate 300 years since the formal establishment of the town, Ballina celebrated with a year-long calendar of over 70 events, with hundreds of people volunteering to make it happen. When we touched base with a lot of people, they were willing to give their time, whether that be marketing, their IT skills, and social media and things like that. Even our help from Volunteer Ireland and the Mayo Volunteer Centre, just the professionalism when it came to the training for our volunteers as well was a huge, a huge thing. Myself, I, I got involved not because I was asked, but because I saw something in a local newspaper about the year just when I had moved here. And I said, hey, can, can I play my part? And I think for a lot of people that that's what they wanted to do. They were very proud of the town, what the town had achieved. And the year itself was, gave us that opportunity for those groups to come together and for everyone to be under the umbrella of that. Certainly when you have large events like the Mockness Parade, President Joe Biden's visit, certainly brought everyone together to give them that, that power and strength in terms of what can be actually achieved. What people have realised now is that the connections that they're making through volunteers, the capacity that um, everybody is gaining, whether it be experience, um, working with someone who has more knowledge than them that they can share, and then also the empowerment for groups to feel that they can go to the PPN or to the Mayo Volunteer Centre and to seek assistance because it is there and the help is there for them. For the Balna District, to be chosen for 2026 would be a marvellous honour, first of all. And it would show that we have a lot to offer and we'd be very happy to share that with our colleagues all over Europe and to invite them here to see it on the ground working firsthand. One of our Erasmus Plus projects is called Power by V and it's looking at the value of volunteering and how young people see volunteering. And one of the elements which is going to be part of our bid in 2026 is to have a number of European Solidarity Corps projects of giving young people here in Ballina the opportunity to travel, to learn about experience with our partners across Europe. And we're hoping that some of the volunteer centres across Europe will reciprocate with that and we'll have some of them come to see and stay with us here in Ballina.